G'day and welcome back for more Scrapyard Survival. And I'm going to do something a little bit different to start off today. I've offloaded everything from the truck, and now I'm going to go help someone out. See if I can be useful with my crane that's already set up, and see if I can help them get back on their feet. Uh, largely because I wanted to try and do some scrapping with someone else, and I thought it might be fun to go and collect some stuff. We'll see if there are some things that we both want, or some things that one of us wants more than the other. Uh, I believe that Jackson needs a bunch of batteries, so if we find batteries, he'll have first dibs on those, but if there's something else, maybe I'll be able to have that, and hopefully we can work through a few more bits of scrap more quickly because we're working together, or maybe we'll just get distracted and chat. Who knows? But it should be some fun. <laughs> and, uh, it's kind of what the idea of playing on a server was about, was so that we could have this sort of fun. So I'm going to jump ahead <laughs> to when I finally arrived, uh, as he's quite a few kilometers away from me. I'm not too far away now. I wonder at what point I'm going to be able to hear slash what, what in there can be able to hear me. <laughs> Since I'm usually the one just chatting to myself on the server, I don't really notice other people doing that. Uh, the silliness. Oh, that's a steep cliff. No, don't do that. What the? How have I... How did I put my brakes on? So weird. I don't know why the brakes sometimes just decide, yeah, you know what, we're going to stay on. I used the space bar, but I'm going to do this like you put the handbrake on. Uh, okay. This one's a bit out of the ground. Who's that Fuel coming my critical. Problem? I'm coming to help you out. Hello. Oh, hi. Uh, I heard you ne might have needed a crane man. Uh, entrance is the other way. Was this always so elevated? Uh, yeah, actually it was. The corner over here was sitting up off the ground. I stripped it out and put this wall back here. That's what the big red X over there means, is just don't come this way. Ah. <laughs> I, I'm, the I'm, ramp is on the other side. I'm quite enjoying that you're being put under the spotlight. <laughs> or you were for a little bit. Not used to that. What do I do? <laughs> oh, so, I should probably put the gun away. That's a little rude. So how's your, uh, how's your... Oh. Well... Did someone steal your wheels? Uh... No. I wish it was that interesting. I did this myself. Oh. Hmm. Well, since you don't have wheels, I might need to put a seat on my rover then, hey? Unless you, unless you can relatively quickly add the wheels on there and we can use you as the flatbed and I can use my crane that's already set up. That seems doable. Because you're, you're desperately after a bas battery, right? Sorry, what was that? I was too busy messing with controls. <laughs> I, was I was suggesting maybe we could, if we can get your wheels back on relatively quickly, we could use your truck for its flatbed and my truck for the crane that's already set up fully and scripted. Because you, you, you would desperately like a battery for this, right? Because you were saying that you'd, you'd busted your battery in an accident or something? Yeah, I could use uh, another big one so I could do something else with these small ones. Might just scrap them, to be honest. Because I'd be happy, to, I'd be happy to share scrap. And the only thing that I'd call dibs on is if we happen to come across a large cargo container of either small or large grid. Everything else, I'm happy to help you bring back here. And I, and with two of us, we can lift a lot more stuff just by hand. We don't need to worry too much about using cranes anyway. So we might be able to scrap a bit more quickly. I like the sound of this plan. Cool. Jax, you're planning on parking on this level, right? Yes. Can I try something? Just because I'm curious if I can pull it off with your ramp up here? Sure. I want to see if I can get you a smoother ramp. It'll be a separate grid, but it might be smoother so that you can more easily drive up and down it. Oh, yeah. The scrap beacon would prevent an yeah. unpowered grid from despawning anyway. So yep, that... yep, yep. That's my that thinking. Would be very handy if you can pull that off. It's not perfect, but it's getting. I'm close. I mean, it. This proves it works. There's a bit of a gap though. Yeah, I'll see if I can get it better though. Because once you've once you've got one laid out, it's actually then much easier to get the next one. Then to do the corrections from there. Oh, that's pretty good. Nice. There you go. Thanks for being my test monkey to see whether this was possible. I just figured I may as well make myself useful while I was here. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's gonna be something you can easily navigate. That's gonna be Yeah, yeah! I'm gonna do this for my own base now. Oh, I'm so pleased with this. Look at the edge bit. It's oh I'm so pleased. It's it's a it's a pretty clean lineup, I gotta say. In fact, it's actually I'm gonna get rid of this tip bit here. I'm gonna put this in because the block edges in a quirk of fate actually make it look better, I think. Alright, I'm gonna try to drive this puppy down this ramp and see what happens. Cool. Yes. Beautiful. Smooth. I've been watching. There is something if we head off this way, if you follow me. I saw yeah. two somethings to the southwest ish. It's my searchlight getting annoying. What? Oh, I need to drive it's closer. It's really hard to hear you when we're trying to drive tandem like this. Yeah. Is is my searchlight getting annoying? Uh <laughs> not really. Okay, good. I I I briefly contemplated slapping one of my own on here just to have dueling searchlights, but I didn't quite do it. <laughs> can you see what I can see? What was that? Can you see what I can see? There's a wind turbine over here for you. Well, hot dog. Reverse, 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 reverse. Break. Why, why won't you break? Thank you. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've learnt. Don't go too near those sheds until you've actually checked them out. All right, let's check out the shed and see if it's got what you're after. What am I after? Battery. Right. Have you already forgotten? Nope. Uh, ooh, cargo. Oh, medium cargo. Not bad. And a programmable block. Uh, you called dibs on what size cargoes? Large. Large. Large, okay. Uh, do you want me to grab the wind turbine with my crane? Sure. Okay. New approach, slightly new approach to taking this thing down. I'm gonna use the wrong control on my crane. Uh, this one, that's the one I wanted. Oh uh, yeah, so I'm thinking if I grab this high enough, I can flick it, flick it around and just carry it on top of my rover. Oh yeah, that could do. So do you want to grind off that bottom bit? Absolutely. Oh, there we go. Now... Retract those pistons. Start flipping this over. Retract those pistons. Flip it over some more. Do 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 do. Change my controls so that I can do this. And there we go. Loaded. Not bad. <laughs> it could be better, but it could be worse. Critical. You said you were looking for bulletproof glass, yeah? Uh, yep. Bulletproof. Glass, power cells. These things have bulletproof glass. All right, I'll meet you back there. How did Jackson get that up there? Without a crane? Oh yeah. So satisfying using a crane like this. This is so dangerous though. <laughs> Extend that out. Jax, how did you get this up there in the first place? The other one? Weld pads and a great deal of patience. Apparently so. This is even going to be slightly difficult with this crane setup. Oh, actually, before I um, put it up there, did you want to grind down and take ownership of the turbine? If I drop it low enough? Uh, not quite. Ooh, okay, there we go. Nice. This is probably basically the worst way I could use my crane. <laughs> I've put the mass so high up. It's so high risk, but I kind of want to do it anyway. Have I left you enough room to put the... Yep. I'll play... Okay, and got it. All right, I might need some directional guidance. I just keep coming down. Okay, all right. What direction are you facing? All right, you're facing this way. It needs to go your forward. Ah. Probably all right, we're gonna a, play this the risky way then. About a meter. I am gonna take off my park brake in a second. You are, you are perfectly lined up right to left, and your height is good. It just needs to go forward. There hey! we go. <laughs> I did it without destroying my crane. That turbine makes up for the lost battery. Hopefully it'll help you help keep you a bit powered for a bit longer. All right. Get back um, to my nice little cab. Okay, where, oh, where? Can we just head west and see what we find? Was I picking up that signal? Oh dear. 
Oh boy. Okay, all right. Oh, your crane saved you. That's great. Right? Would you like okay. me to pick you up? Gyro. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Crane man's here okay. to save the day. That's definitely going to be the safer way to do this. Just, just, just give me a little shove. Yeah, I was just going to kind of bonk you. Is that lined up? Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Some gentle nudging. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I am lined up with uh, with something that showed up. Something else about a K and a half further up. Yeah, I the the thing further out was the thing that I'd seen. This looks like it's got some uh, solar panels on it. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. One colorable or two colorable ones and one regular uh, one. On little train set. If we unlock this, we I could possibly just pull the whole car off, and we might be able to grab it with your crane, and you can tow it that way. Uh, my crane does not have the manipulator at the end of it yet. Okay, I got a stupid idea. Because my stupid idea is let's just go to the other drop and see what it's got, and I'll carry this on the way there. Okay, I am fine with this stupid idea. Cool. I mean, at some point I'm planning on collecting a bunch of these trains to make my own train. Um, these carriages, yeah. but I think I'm a bit far from home to try and drive one all the way back. So I might might try and pick some up later. Oh, it had to be the most useless of things ever. Just a piece of rusted old pipe. Aw, oh, boring. Well, it's a pity we weren't able to find you a battery, but at least uh, hopefully that second wind turbine being in place will be helpful. Oh, that yeah, that'll be real nice. And I'll... I'll if we drive back to your place, I'll drop this uh, train carriage off, and then I'll probably head back onto my my side of, side of the planet. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, I'll meet you back at yours. Let's see what I might want to do with that uh, solar panel. Oh yeah, how Ew. many how many solar cells are in this? I counted three in the bottom two. Then how much is in the top up. one? It's hard to tell, isn't it? Hang on, I'll jump up this way. It might be zero. Top one. Oh, it is zero. There's not quite enough for one. Uh, as it so happens, I have two solar cells I scavenged from somewhere <laughs> else storage, so I can complete one of those colorables. You can. That, well, at least that could be a backup power source on your rover if you want to put it on there. Uh, sorry we couldn't fully fix your power situation, but at least it's a bit improved. I mean, I got steady power input, I got one large grid battery left, my rover's not really hurting for juice. I'm doing pretty good. I appreciate the assistance, though. No worries. That extra wind turbine looks amazing, and it would have taken me eight times as long to get it up there as it took you. Yeah, having having the crane already set up with the script makes an enormous difference with uh, getting stuff built. I should not have delayed setting up the script as long as I had myself. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll on back to my place. Uh, good luck. Hopefully we'll run into each other soon. Maybe wanna maybe I'll be doing a swap meet or something like that soon. Happy trails. <laughs> I'll see you later. I made it home before and logged out, and I came back to find that I've been given a little present. I've gotten some extra computers. Thanks, Barry. Uh, I plan to add some little mailboxes and things so people can leave little messages and I've got to do some additions to the mod for that, but haven't gotten around to that yet. So what I'm actually going to do now, I think, is try and get these batteries in place, try and get this base a bit more to what I want it to be so that it feels a bit more of a special place rather than kind of just a bit of a junk pile in a bad way. because. I think in a, being a junk pile is not necessarily always in a bad way, given what this playstyle is about. But I think in this case, my junk pile is in a bad way. I want to make this a bit of a home. And so I've just got to think about how I'm going to do that. How I'm going to organize stuff around here and build stuff in a way that's going to make it interesting. So we'll see how that goes. So if I've got my power tower out this way and I've got my container pile that's going to be accumulating here as well even though I have put my batteries in the corner here and over this side 
I'm actually thinking I might move my batteries over to with the turbines so that I've got this side of the building to turn into a little bit of a, a little bit of a home. So I'm trying to think of a way to make it so that the the ground around here can be done that way. Even though I should be out there looting, <laughs> I really want to make my place feel like home. So I'm thinking, I've got this warehouse. I may well enlarge this warehouse in the future to make it probably one block taller, maybe. But I want to kind of build my living space to feel like it's appropriate for being next to a big warehouse. But to, and to do that, I was thinking of making it out of that sort of same sort of steel framing, but looking more like a construction... Oh, what are they called? Those... You know, the cabins that are near construction yards and where the basically the boss is. <gasps> Unless I want to make the train into where I... No. Mm. No, because that's all small grid. I, I can't really... I don't really have the decorative blocks to build. Nah, I'll... I'll don't get distracted. Don't try and turn the train into your house. So it's like, well, oh, maybe I could make rail cars that'll look really nice. And then, no, no, no. <laughs> I will spend way too long doing that. I should not allow myself to do that. So, all right, let's think about this. I want to get this wind turbine around to that side. And I think I can pretty easily get it up there and attached in a similar way. All I got to do is get it on the crane Bring it around, make sure I've got a platform for it. Hold the crane up over it, lift it up, put another block on. Lift it up, put another block on. Lift it up, put another block on, and then eventually merge block it down. And I should be able to get it to the same height as that one, which is seven blocks tall. Yeah. This is doable. Let's get it done. Start with the turbine. Then move the batteries. Then plan out my little living quarters hut space. And if the weather improves, I might go out and loot and take a break from this design. But I really do feel like... I feel like I'll benefit from having a place that feels homely. Homey? Homely? Whichever one of those feels like I can call it home. Alright, let's just pop this straight off. Oh dear. This is a problem. This is still counting as though it's inside Voxel. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Might be able to get this to get mobile if I dig? Wait, no. Uh, I have another idea. If I put a control panel on this, I might be able to tell it to turn into a mobile grid. Convert to ship is not possible. Dang it! Alright, let's just dig. I know the voxels get it, oh, will get reset eventually, so I can make whatever messes I like. <laughs> Normally I'm really protective of the voxels around my own base, but now I don't need to be. No. Really? Come on. Probably I'm there now. Okay, maybe still this corner. Hey, there we go. Got there eventually. Crane's ready to go. Let's get this thing picked up. It should be fairly easy. Uh, how do I want to pick this up? I think I'm probably best off trying to get attached to the... Not to the wind turbine itself, but to the... Probably to the base thing, maybe? I don't know. Either way, I should be able to turn it around. But yeah, yeah, actually. No, I definitely want to... Uh, be attached to the other bit. Because then I can do... This... Oh. <laughs> and mess with my camera perspective. Yep, great. Flip it around. Yeah. Okay, that'll be easy. I'll be easily able to add all the bits to it. Now let's bring it back in. Fuel Alrighty. Critical. Let's get this thing built. Oh, right. <laughs> My hot bars aren't set up like they normally are. Because I don't have all the normal blocks that I normally build. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think I'll go eight rather than the seven that's on that. Uh, this still has the lights, right? Yep. Okay. So merge block time. And nope, let's put it in a roughly the right position before I do that. <laughs> Might make it easier. Because it's kind of crooked right now. Just keep wiggling this till it's roughly right. And then we'll bring it down. Oh yeah, that should be pretty easy to get lined up. Assuming I'm not rotated in a weird way. 
Which I might be. And I am. Great. Should have known it. Alright, so we'll put a merge block there. And then... I'm going to need to move this out of the way because I want to put the other block here, I reckon. I may later change my plans and not leave these as rusty towers, but at least for now, they're the bit that's going to stay rusty on the base, I think. Okay. Oh, it'll be nice to have this in the right spot. <laughs> as much as it was a little bit of a, an almost a nice memory to have it weird, I'm, I'll be happy to have it fixed. Oh man, I made this worse. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to see if I can line this up by driving it around, because I have just butchered that. The trouble with these things is they're so tall that I don't feel safe just dropping it and letting it go. Even though it's probably... probably would work. Oh, come on. How is that not close enough? They're so close. Hey, there we go. Did it. Cool. Turbine in place. One turbine fixed. I'm fixing the other one now. I'm, I'm here. I've got my crane. Oh, but it's daytime. Eh. Nah. Oh, eh, eh, eh. Hmm. 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 Have I got... Am I loaded up? Oh, I'm loaded up with stuff. Okay, let's offload. It's daytime. I'm going to offload. I'm going to go for a quick little tour. Uh, and see what I can get. And... If it falls to night time, I'll just come back home then and keep working on this in the night. Because I was also planning on building those lighting towers here so that my base is a bit better lit up. And that appears to be all. Because yeah, it'd be really nice to get another power, another um, another thingy. Thingy? Cargo container. That's what I was talking about. It's only still kind of to the east, so it is morning. So I'm traveling at the right time of day. Oh, there we go. There's something take me long. Really hoping for those, that, just really hoping for a large grid cargo container, really. That's all I want. I just want more cargo at the moment. Is that the thing that's down on the lake there? I think it is. Looks to be another one of those service stations. I don't think they have large cargo containers, but they did give me the welder that I found, so I think it's worth checking out. Uh, what do we have here? A bit of a Fuel buggy. Critical. What's in the shed? Ooh, hydrogen thruster. Little motors. Grab that hydrogen thruster. Nice. Completely not what I want right now. Uh, but they're rare enough. I've just got to collect them whenever I get them. And to build anything that's going to fly with these, I'm going to need so many of them that I can't afford to ignore any of the ones that I find. Except with the position of my uh, cockpit to put the connector at the front of this thing. My thinking there is that if I put the connector at the front, it makes it a lot easier for this to handle having a trailer. Like a flatbed trailer, because then I just drive up, ram straight into the connector, driving up rather than having to deal with reversing into a connector with a trailer, which is always, well, hideous. <laughs> Super difficult. Oh, wait, is there a battery in here? Power cells. Yeah, five more power cells. Okay, that's actually... Yeah, that's worth it, because power cells just means every battery I find I can actually repair them. Plus, they're the sort of thing that other people need, so it might be that I'll be able to trade some power cells for something else that I need later. Ooh, another proficient welder. Interesting. That could be worth trading for someone. wonder what I'd ask for a proficient welder. <laughs> wonder what I could trade that for. So I really don't need two of them. I mean, having a backup one's not a bad thing, but I don't really need it. Have you got any blocks I want? I don't think you do. Hydrogen tank. Okay, that's... Oh, that's a gyroscope. I thought that might have been up front there. Right, grab that, and then I'm out of here. Off to the next thing. Thruster and a gyro, as well as another welder. Something. Not what I'm after, though. Uh, oh, and five power cells. I got the five power cells. Oh. Hold up. Spotted something. What did I spot? I think this is my first visually identified thing. Like, I didn't actually identify this by its blip. I've just seen it. I think it's because I keep going out and looting during the night, so I can't spot anything. 
There was a time with this mod where I was actually contemplating making it so that you didn't get any blips at all. You literally just had to drive and search. It does make it feel more like a scrapyard and like you're really out there searching for things, but it did have some downsides in that it, there was a real chance that you could drive for hours and not find anything at all. And that takes away from the fun. Well, another wind turbine. It's handy for my desired future charging post. Let's see what's in here. Another hydrogen engine. Some wheels. I think I'm going to scrap this hydrogen engine. I've got a few of them, and it's another power cell. I'd rather have the power cell than have another hydrogen engine, to be honest. It's just the wind turbine, really. It's the only thing I want. Which way do I want to try and catch... <laughs> get the wind turbine this time? I think I'm just going to go for the simple. Although... Actually, this one's not all the same block, so I'm going to bring it down to my height. I'm going to do what people have been telling me to try, and I'm going to see if it goes horribly wrong. I'm just going to grind out this and wait till it drops. And hope that it doesn't tip over. Oh, that's close to tipping. That's really close to tipping. <laughs> That's what I thought would happen. It's also not settling. I feels like it's somehow getting more amplitude. How would that happen? I can't grind it while it's doing that. I'm, I'm just getting my crane. I'm grabbing it. This method does not <laughs> work reliably. Now, can I grab it with the crane without knocking it over? That's the other question. This is going to get uh, interesting. Let's deploy the crane. Nope. Do it. Finish deploying. Alright, I'll be patient. Okay, now I'll change modes. I'm going to try and grab it nice and high. Oh, I just bonked it. Oh, that's stabilized it, actually. It settled. I'm going to lock. It is now locked. <laughs> Fuel that was... Critical. That was what I feared would happen if I did this. I'm disappointed that my fears were accurate. I'm relieved that I didn't do a whole lot of work unnecessarily. I'm kind of mixed feelings on it. Fuel right, grind the rest of this off because I don't. I don't want these uh, wheels in there. I want to make mine all with the proper pillar blocks. There we go. Perfect. I think I might just take this home straight away. Local time's 9:50. Oh, I forgot to check that. I looked over at the sun. I, <laughs> I tried to figure out the time from the sun instead of doing it. Oh, of course. Well, that's on the way stop by that. What the heck? What the heck? This is like within line of sight of my base. There's another wind turbine. That, that's my base over there. There's a turbine on top of the hill. <laughs> that's ridiculously close. Don't think I have to rush to get that one, but I will still come back here and grab it. I'm not going to disconnect this, but I'm just checking what's in here first. Uh, same stuff as the last one. Ooh, three metal grids. That's a win. And I'm taking this again. Grinding it down. Get that extra power cell. Do I attempt to put this down now, or do I drop it on the ground and have to pick it up awkwardly? I think I'm going to have to drop it on the ground. Because if I don't drop it on the ground, I'm going to end up with <laughs> that extra one I found disappearing before I can go and pick it up. Oh, I kept it upright, so that helps. This is still not what I'm after, though. I still want cargo. <laughs> this doesn't help me. How many more wind turbines do I actually even need? Okay, same deal as before. Grab it off the top. Bring it down. I was going to try and be creative about this, but I'm, <laughs> I really just want to build my base, so I'm going to just do it the easy way. Like, I had these all, all these thoughts about, oh, each time I get a turbine, I should do it a different way. Thinking that it was going to be a much greater time between each episode where I managed to find a turbine. Like, I wanted to tip one over and put it on, a, put it on its own little trailer thing. I wanted to do all these other things, but... Honestly, if that's going to stop me from being able to do stuff on my base, yeah, I'm not that worried. <laughs> I'm just going to do this the easier way. All right, where do I want to put these wind turbines? I think the first set, I might just extend out, say, five blocks and just literally build it straight on here. Just keep laying out this concrete as it is. I'm struggling to think of a better option right now. 
At least it uses up some of my steel plate and clears me some inventory. I was thinking something like this. I guess later on I could try and figure out a different way to link these buildings up, but I kind of want to avoid anything that's going to be subgrid. We've got enough grids around here, I don't need to add to it. Just for, just for something this silly. Yeah! I just risked it at the end there. <laughs> I disconnected it. I just unlocked it and was like, oh, I'm going to hope for the best. And it worked. Okay, make sure I hack this one before I put it up. Yep, this has taken me most of the day. I'm kind of glad I stayed here to do this because I'll, I'll certainly have more chance to loot in the morning. And I think it'll be beneficial to get more of this stuff locked down and secured. Oh, jeez. That just dug a hole in the ground as <laughs> that merged on. Okay, that's something. But we've got four wind turbines, one of them at a different height to all the other ones, which is probably going to annoy some other people more than it annoys me, but I'll, I'm sure I'll eventually get around to fixing it. It's not the sort of thing I'll leave forever, I'm sure. Nope, totally not the sort of thing I would do. Nuh-uh, nuh-uh, nuh-uh. <laughs> all right, we got those down. Let's get some batteries sorted out. So we've got our cargo containers here, and I might continue them... Maybe I'll put the batteries on this side. Start making this pile, making a pile of them here. I don't need to collect that many batteries once I've gotten... I suppose three is probably enough for my personal use, but if I get, say, six or seven batteries, that's... That's really going to be enough. Have I hacked this one? I have not. All right, let's see how I go with hacking this. So I'm going to try again with the welding stuff back in and seeing if I can get this down to just, well, to no power cells gone. Last time I managed to lose one by putting four construction components in. Oh, the lag side of things is making this weird. Because that just went up in number of construction components. No, still lost one. That's okay, though. It's one of those hydrogen engines that I ground down. Seems like adding the things back in wasn't the difference. It was just trying not to... Well, just being really careful about it. Where did the other two batteries... Where did I put them? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so there's this one here, which is not locked down yet either. Okay, and then there's the one in behind the wall here. Okay, we'll go and... Get this one that's here locked down first. So, merge blocking. Kind of like the idea of the batteries and the cargo containers looking like just piles of them. So it's it's like a stack of things that have clearly been collected there. They're not they're not built there as such. That was the idea of it, anyway. We'll see how well it actually carries the look. I mean if I add things like um those barrels and stuff around here. I think that'll probably sell the look. We'll have to see. Not sure how much or if that'll work, but I think it'll be worth a try. Oh, right. Probably need to stay in the control for it to do its collapse thing. At least with this, <laughs> I can do stuff like dropping it and uh, just bumping it into position because I'm not dealing with the whole giant tower thing. Which is a substantial advantage because I can do things like this. Drop it down. Grab it. Move it in again. Let me. A bit more and then try it. And just keep kind of shuffling it into position. And even do things like this. Bonk. There we go. Locked. See? <laughs> Much easier. Fuel critical. Second battery on the base. Get all these batteries locked down. Then I want to figure out where I'm going to put this survival kit. I think that'll be in my little hut. Not that. Not that. Not that. Uh, that's closer? What I wanted to have happen. Oh, I can probably let this go at this point. Uh, if I switch and just rotate a little bit. Yeah! All three batteries are locked to the base, but one of them's in a spot where I didn't want it to be. Well, where I don't want it to be. I did want it there initially, because I wasn't thinking through all the other stuff. Wait, did I hack that battery? 
Oh yeah, that's the one I hacked while I was out and about. Yep. Okay, now I can pave this area. So I got that battery out. Alright. What am I going to do with lighting around here? I think I might make some light posts. I could use the wind turbine towers on, over here. But I kind of want to design a little light post to put around. I like the idea of my big light towers, but I'm just not sure how they'd work aesthetically. Because I'm going to need to basically build a bridge and place them out, pointing back at everything. And or have some sort of connection that way. Um, and that's going to really get annoying around the rover. At least until I, you know, pave a larger area. Alright, let's get this last battery out. <laughs> cut through the hole that I cut through before and that I repaired and now I've got to cut through again. I'm now trying to think about what I could do to make a sort of base rearranging forklift. Something that can move stuff that's relatively in line with the grid and you know just pick it up in simple ways and move these things. Because sometimes the crane is more than I want. <laughs> Even though it is intentionally designed that way it's like meant to be more than it's meant to be capable of doing everything but because it's capable of doing so much it's actually quite a lot more complicated to use uh, do I want to push this one a bit further in so I'm not having to deal with reaching over the top maybe maybe that's a good idea I merge pocket to there oh Oh, I was hoping that would just lock as I dropped it. <laughs> there we go. Done. Battery's all in position. So what's going to be my most compact way of doing a conversion to the, to the small grid so that I can put my survival kit down? Let's lay out a little bit of a floor over here. I'll have a think about it. I might try and see how many of these pieces I can just carry inside to get them out of the way. Because I want to build it around this side. Don't really remember how I was organizing things here, but I think the electronics were up here. So I just had a bit of an idea. I have no idea if I can make it work. Like, literally no idea if I can make it work. But pallets for all of the small grid blocks. One of the things that's really tricky about getting small grid blocks stored playing this way is that they kind of... I can't move this, can I? Oh, yes I can. They kind of need to be moved a lot. And if you're going to rearrange them, like if you're storing them, they're quite awkward to store and to move. Even if you have something that's quite a basic thing that does the moving, it's still really quite awkward. And so... Maybe I could build some sort of pallet system where, say for example, I've got gyroscopes. That pallet can hold 15 gyroscopes. So I can just stack them on there, and as long as I stack them neatly the first time, I can pull them off whenever I need them, but otherwise they're just stacked there. And then I can move the whole pallet with a forklift that's, des that's designed to move the whole pallet, rather than a forklift that's designed to move all of these blocks and do it in complicated ways, which basically just becomes another crane. So I now just have to think about what would constitute an effective and not too expensive pallet system for well, my needs here. I do wonder if I could come up with something that would work well. That's cleared up enough space there I think. And now I want to try and lay out some stuff that's going to hopefully be my little home. I'm not going to tr I'm going to try and avoid building it too much perfectly square onto the warehouse. Well, as in not building it perfectly in line with it because that's boring. So I'll bring this out this way a little while. I won't bother making an edge yet. All right, connecting a survival kit to this base. It really just needs to be power because it just needs to be a respawn in the event that I break the one on my truck. How do I best do that? I've got the options of using a rotor, a hinge, connectors. Any of those would work. What's going to be most neat and tidy? What can I hide the best? That's basically what I'm thinking about. I reckon 
A rotor is probably going to be the easiest thing to hide. A rotor or a hinge in the floor. And a rotor is likely to be the safer of those two options. So I'll try and figure out where I want to have the building. And maybe even play around a little bit with the building design before I put this down. Because I'm really not sure about what I'm trying to build. <laughs> I know I want to make it look like this corrugated metal sort of look. But beyond that, I'm not sure how to make it practically function as the sort of building that I want it to and have that aesthetic. All right, I have some foundations to place things on. Let's grab a bit more steel plate and see what I can come up with around here. So the obvious answer for how I'm going to do this is to copy the design that's on the warehouse and make something over here similarly. Make it out of the light armor panels. Try and put them all on the outside. So I'll start with the obvious and see where I go from there. Uh, let's not do that one. Let's keep it a bit away from the edge. Where are doors? Doors, doors, doors. Where is door? I could just build a bit of a box to start off with, actually. Nice little four by... Four by what? How many blocks is that? Five? Six? Four by six. Yeah. I can work in a four by six. Survival kit. I reckon I want it near the door. Maybe? Yeah. So, just weld these up so I have a clearer idea of where things are at. Having this down will also help me build some more lighting around here. Because it is very dark at night. I chop that out of the floor. Yeah. And then we go and add a rotor. Get rid of our rotor part. Add a small one. And then I should just be able to put the survival kit on that. Especially if I cut that off. Make it a little mini merge block. I might weld up the rotor too. Yeah, make that a mini merge block. Stick a mini merge block on the bottom of the survival kit. Put a couple of little legs on it. And then it'll be sitting on the merge block and those legs. Which I think could look nice. Relatively. If I get the positioning right, it should work. Alright, survival kit. Let's get you built. So I can figure out which way around you are. Okay, that's upside down. It's actually quite helpful at this point. Because then I can put... My little legs on. And I think I think I want the merge block all the way at the back. It's going to be two blocks in front. So where's that going to put it? Two blocks in front. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this all the way over there. Oh, apparently I need to hack this. Because I just repaired it. I didn't actually hack it. Totally going to need to <laughs> hook a hydrogen tank up to one of these. Just sorry, try and stop having to deal with the fuel critical noise. Nuts. Oh, no, got it there. <laughs> I was about to say, I'd been anticipating needing the crane, but I was getting quite happy that I was getting away without using it. And then it wouldn't let me get up the ramp, and now I need to figure out how I'm going to get this up right. Leverage. Come on. Yeah. Now, I probably want to put something on here that's going to stop it from falling into the hole as I get it around that merge block. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I might be a dead splitsy. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. I am proper stuck. Uh, if I grind out this wall, though... There we go. Nope, still floating. There we go. Hey! Yeah, I got it locked. Look at that. I have a survival kit on my base. Yes. Awesome. It's not my neatest of attachments of a thing, but it works. Okay, I'm going to move the door to here and I'm going to use one of the sliding doors because now that that's in place, it relatively, it does a decent job of hiding the end of the survival kit. I should be able to put some things on the end of the survival kit to make it look a little less um, conveyor exposed look. Not sure how much it worries me though. Don't think that was actually an improvement. <laughs> it made it worse. Alright, so what blocks do I want? We're going to need a bathroom, 
Gonna need a little bit of an office and a desk, some planters, maybe a couch. Uh, some lockers, yeah. That's probably about it. So how can we cram this in? Start with a bed. I'm gonna go an open bed on the back wall here. And I'll put a bit of a, uh, I'll put a window in there so that I can see out from my bedroom. Then go with my often used bathroom and shower. There's an ensuite to my bedroom. And with the bedroom goes a locker. Maybe one of these? Put the armory locker in there. Don't have a door into my bedroom, but instead just have a tiny little gap. Because it's just a little area in here, my little sleeping area. Yeah. yeah actually, I like that. Now, kitchen. Don't think I've got room for the inset kitchen, so I'm going to go with a the original kitchen. We'll go with a regular locker here. That's kind of a pantry for the kitchen. Then a little eating area. Yeah, that works. And then couch. Couch there. What do we got? We've got inset bed. You know what? Nah. Inset couch. So the inset couch. How do I want to do that? I kind of want to have some greenery in here. Oh, I know. I can go inset couch there. Find that out. Then we can go inset kitchen. Next to it. So I've got the little planter. Yeah, this works. Then have like an extra kitchen bench against the back of that. Pick these out. Very hard to tell what's here right now. I should really weld this up as I go. So it's a little terrarium, little thing, yep. Then I'll put a table in the middle. I will probably repaint the floor when I'm done here. So that it's not all concrete. And we'll go with inside bookshelf. Yeah. Alright, let's weld this up and see how it looks. See what I want to change once it's welded. Because I'm struggling to visualize what I've <laughs> put down at this stage. It is a pity my cargo is as far away as it could be, but still on my base. I would do something about that, but once this is built and I'm happy with it, it should stay fairly much the same. Without really needing much reason, like without needing any changes. So I shouldn't need to run back and forth again many times. No energy. Mm. Aha! <laughs> I have other places to get energy now. Fuel critical. And to get my health back. Definitely going to be getting rid of that light armor panel and replacing it with... I think... One of these. But... I'm actually going to place this on... This side. And then on the outside. I'm going to see if it looks alright having one of the half pieces against it. Just to keep the style going across. Yeah, I think that actually works a lot better than I thought it was going... But like, that even works better than I thought it was going to. One thing I'm a little bit unhappy about is that there's no window on the side facing here. So I wonder if I can rearrange these and put the maybe put the kitchen over this side. Because I would like to have a, kit, a window here. I'll take this out. And do I put inset kitchen here? Or do I just put a regular kitchen in? I think I'll just put a regular kitchen in next to the bookshelf there. Which feels a bit weird. But, it, you know, within the limits we work in, I think it'll be alright. Okay. I think I'm happier with this. Have I got any other, like... Is it just the inset bookshelf? It is, isn't it? Oh. Uh, yeah, you know what? No, nah, I'm going to stick with this. Now, what can I use for a flooring type in here? Do I use weldless? Do I use rusty? Battered? Battered might be a better floor. Battered, and we'll take it a little bit grey. Oh, actually. Battered may not be a good floor. Might just leave it concrete for now. I will 
figure this all out when I can make myself a, uh, a paint gun. <laughs> Alright. That's... Yeah. That's the start of my thing. I may move this window over and flip those two around, but I'm... I kind of wanted the window to be able to look out this way and not be right up against the line of the warehouse. Although I could move the you door from critical. here to here and then where the door is put something like one of those full blocks. But I'll leave it for now. Alright, I need a way to get up on the roof so that I can put up the rest of the walls and the roofing. So I'm thinking I'll go with something quite simple. And use this and slightly vault the ceiling inside here. And then I'll have to figure out how I do the lighting given that I've taken up the space that I would use for lights with the ceiling blocks. Uh, this one, uh, yeah, and replace that with a tip. Ooh, oh, do I want some skylights? Maybe I'll add some skylights. Um, can I add skylights? Ooh, what do I, hmm. What options do we have? I think the only option is to put in one of these to replace a whole strip. So maybe, maybe for the skylight I do here and here. And I just do it the whole way across. Feels a bit more fancy than this place seems to suggest, but I think it'll look nice. And I'm out of bulletproof glass. Oh, I was close. Still, you know. Gives me goals. Gives me things to go out and collect. That's not a bad thing. Not entirely, anyway. Okay. Apart from that block, that's all welded up. So now, how on earth am I going to light this place? Um. <laughs> um no. Did I leave anywhere clear to put some corner lights in? I left a couple of spots. I might have to clear up some, like where I put that little corner table next to the kitchen. Might have to go just so I can get some lights in, but we'll see where I can stick them, because they may stick to some of the bathroomy bits too. Oh yeah. I can have a light there. And I can have a light here over the survival kit, which I think is good. And then we can have another one there. Should be able to create enough light. But this looks okay Energy with just low. that many. Turn out my lights and set this up. So, something I've been liking doing lately is turning down my fall off to about 0.7. Let's have a look how it looks in here. Bathroom's still really dark. I might increase that radius just a bit further. Yeah, that's better. Toilet's not completely dim now. What the fall off reduction does is make it s smoother. So as the light drops off, it's a little bit of a smoother transition to shadow. That is probably too much light, so let's reduce the intensity of both of these down to half what they were. And then the only bit that would be a question is whether I want to put a light to try and reach this couch. Maybe this one can reach a bit further. Sort of. Not too bad, though. A little worker's cabin. I'm pretty happy. How's it look from outside? Not too bad, either. So now I need to create a little work light. Uh, although, I can just put a light above the door. So I chose this door type. Yeah. The only other thing I'm thinking of doing is maybe grabbing a different tone of grey so that we've got a bit of variation in the colour of the roof. Give it a bit of an age. Try and make it look a little bit aged. It's looking a bit too pristine. What have I done? Why are these... Oh, no. Oh, no. The corrugations don't line up because I used the different block type. Uh, I'm going to have to think about that one. Whether I want to change it. Switch them all back so that it, I don't have those full blocks where I put them. Nerds. Nerds, nerds, nerds. Yeah. I'm happy with that, though. Happy enough for now. I may think of some things to do with it later to try and enhance it. But this now feels like more of a place that I've put my touch on. I've changed it. I've made it my own. It doesn't look like everybody else is one of this same base design. 
I feel like I haven't gained a lot material-wise today, but I have gained a lot in terms of making this place my own, and that makes me really happy. I've almost cleared out the whole warehouse. I've just got one row of shelves still to go. I've started to come up with a bit of an idea of how I can make my own shelves because of the pallet idea. If I start with pallets and once I've got no room on the floor, then I'll build a layer above that we can put the pallets on. But I think just start with single layer pallets and then build up as I need to. So I think that'll feel kind of cool. I will at some point try and repair the roof, but I really need to finish the roof on my little workman's hut first. Because that, to me, feels more important. <laughs> Next time, I am going to do a lot more looting because I haven't really done much. And I hope I'll be able to get some really cool stuff. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Into bed I go. Oh, I got my little plushie at the end of my bed.